So no one told you life was gonna be this way. No one can take a joke. There's nothing you can say. And every character is black or queer. And the woke complain all day, all week, all month, and even all year. So they will cancel you. What is comedy for? They will cancel you. Nothing's fun anymore. They will cancel you. And they'll cancel me too. Did I spend way too long on that intro song? Yep. Are we going to talk about Friends? Definitely. Because Jennifer Aniston is saying that Friends is too offensive for today's generation. Let's talk about it. Young Apollo with the brother. Alright guys, before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe, plus turn on that notification bell to be notified every single time we post a video. Now let's talk Jennifer Aniston. In this recent CNN article, it says, Jennifer Aniston says a whole generation now finds friends offensive. Those of you who are unfamiliar with the show, friends, I don't know how you're alive right now. You must be living under a rock. <laughs> Friends is a very popular American sitcom that started in the 90s, went into the early 2000s, and followed a group of friends living in New York City, you know, getting in entanglements. How you doing? With one another. And, you know, hanging out at their local coffee shop. It's a fun American comedy. But apparently, according to Jennifer Aniston, it is too offensive for today's current generation. Let's talk about her comments here. She says, comedy has evolved, movies have evolved. This is what she said in Paris. And quote, now it's a little tricky because you have to be very careful, which makes it really hard for comedians because the beauty of comedy is that we make fun of ourselves, make fun of life, Aniston said. She also touched on how much the culture has changed since Friends debuted in 1994. Quote, there's a whole generation of people, kids, who are now going back to episodes of Friends and find them offensive, Aniston says. There were things that were never intentional and others, well, we should have thought it through, but I don't think there was a sensitivity like there is now. Jennifer Aniston is totally correct. When I think back of moments in Friends that might be found offensive, you've got what? Fat Monica. It's cool. You can stay here. My parents won't mind. No, it's not that. I just don't want to be stuck here all night with your fat sister. Chandler's dad was a transgender woman, and they refer to Chandler's dad with male pronouns. Yeah, he is more of a, if you've got it, flaunted kind of father. You've got offensive jokes made by the gang of men in the show about women and sexuality and not wanting to look gay, and that could be misconstrued as being homophobic and all these different things. So I imagine that there is quite a large group of people who, if they went back to watch Friends today, if not offended by it, would at least be able to acknowledge that in today's time, a TV show like this probably might not get the green light. As far as offensive TV shows go now, South Park? Miss Watson, how does it feel to be competing today? I can't tell you how free I feel now that I've started identifying as a woman is still running and it's really because people have always just looked at it and gone well it's south park and we allow these specific people to to be offensive when really it should be something that is allowed for all comedy and all comedians i loved the office and i still love the office i don't think a lot of the episodes of the office that were made back in the day could be made in a time like this Time cookie cookie time so I think Jennifer Aniston certainly when looking back at friends and the moments in her career that are maybe not so kosher now. I used to love to play restaurant. Eh, not as much as you love to play uncooked batter eater. Or maybe would not be allowed by the woke mob now has hit a very key point in, in saying that, yeah, the sensitivity that we have today is not like the sensitivities that maybe we had back in the day. When I go back and look at these shows and I watch them, of course there are jokes that maybe might not land in today's generation, but it never comes off to me as if they're trying to be offensive. They're trying to be racist. They're trying to be homophobic or transphobic or many of the accusations that they would get in today's time. To me, it seemed like these characters and the writing of these shows was meant to be exploring 
just pivotal and controversial issues of the time. I actually think that comedy is one of the best tools to use to engage with some of these controversial issues because it takes the heat out of the room. We all enter the space of, of watching shows like Friends or The Office or South Park knowing that they're meant to make you laugh, knowing that we're just poking fun at the things that we think about or the friendships that we have and allowing that to take place on our televisions. And we should be able to set aside our political leanings or things that we are sensitive about in order to watch these shows. Now, apparently the co-creator of Friends by the name of Marta Kaufman has come forward to talk about the show's lack of diversity. And this has been something that's been hit on, of course, in recent times, most recently by Quinta Brunson, who in her SNL monologue said this. I have a show called Abbott Elementary. <laughs> unique it's a streaming show it's not a streaming show sorry i know you guys get confused about that it's a network sitcom like say friends except instead of being about a group of friends it's about a group of teachers and instead of new york it's in philadelphia and instead of not having black people it does so <laughs> We love the virtue signaling. Thank you so much. It's almost as if shows are allowed to cast whoever they want. And sometimes there's going to be white people. Sometimes there's going to be black people. Sometimes there won't be white people. Sometimes there won't be black people. And that's okay. I don't think we should take it upon ourselves to go back at old shows and cry about or, or uh, come after things that don't have the supposed diversity that they're supposed to have today. And of course, Quinta Brunson is just making a, a joke here in, in, in this SNL monologue. But obviously you can tell uh, that is how she truly feels about these shows and that there should be somewhat of a quota for diversity in shows. And Friends clearly does not meet that quota for her. Now, the show's co-creator admits and accepts guilt <laughs> in this case and says it's not easy. Quote, it's painful looking at yourself in the mirror. I'm embarrassed that I didn't know better 25 years ago. Oh, well, at least we got the admission of guilt, right? That makes things all the better. You know, maybe just take friends off the market and take it off TV because there's not enough black people in it. And there's never going to be anything that you can do to go back and reconcile that. In fact, actually, just go back and reshoot all the episodes of Friends and throw in a token black character for the people who are complaining uh, about a lack of diversity. It's OK, guys. We had plenty of representation in TV as black people in the 90s and in the early 2000s. We didn't need to see a black person in, in Friends. And that's not to say that there were no black people in Friends. There were black people in Friends. But just because they weren't part of the core group, apparently, we have to be up in arms about it. And it is really interesting to just go back and watch TV reruns of old shows, and they're not even old shows, we're talking early 2000s and in the 90s. I don't know that those qualify as old yet. But going back and seeing, even 15 years ago, these jokes could not be made today. You could not run it back and, and do this again and, and pitch this show and get a green light on a show like this, even though in going back and watching some of the offensive jokes from Friends, which we've shown you throughout this video, they're really not that bad. And there are plenty of jokes that I think reasonable, rational people would be making today, and it wouldn't be a problem. But Jennifer Aniston, like many others, is pointing out something that is true. These shows and the sort of cultural zeitgeist that we had at that time, we're just not strong enough now to deal with. We're just a little bit too sensitive now to deal with. And I think creators are going to start pushing back against that and deciding to put out comedy shows regardless and allowing the jokes to stay there despite what people have to say about them and despite the woke mob coming after them. But it's going to take a lot of that to change the cultural sensitivity that we're dealing with right now. But guys, comment down below your thoughts. Did you guys watch Friends? Do you remember offensive jokes? Fat Monica or Chandler's transgender dad? Were these things that at the time you didn't think were offensive, but you think they are now? Do you think they need to take that into account and maybe change what we put in television shows and especially comedies and sitcoms in modern days to account for the way that people feel about certain topics and controversial issues? Let me know. And as always, have a healthy debate in the comments. Do, do, sign up for my email list if you'd like to get a newsletter from me every single week, plus updates for all the content that we put out here at PragerU. Also, sign up for my Discord if you want to have conversations with free-thinking people and meet a group of like-minded individuals. That's a link in the description down below as well. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Go watch some episodes of Friends or The Office or South Park. Bring back the culture of not being sensitive to these subjects.